Hello friends, welcome back to my new repaint video and this video is a special collaboration with some of my amazing doll friends. All of them are super talented and their dolls are super amazing. So make sure to check out the amazing doll of Scary Elsties, the doll fairy, my Minimon, H. Ali Crafts and Anastasia Customs. So now I'm moving to the concept art. So for the doll, I choose Ashoka and I think that I really wanted to make Ashoka because of her different kind of hair and her different kind of outfit and she's also very different than my usual style. So I definitely wanted to repaint her. So let's get start this video. So for the doll, I choose Wonder Woman as a base and I think that she's really really beautiful and I really like her sculpt and I really like her body and she's perfect for Ashoka. So now I'm taking my sharp scissors and starting removing the doll original hair. And now I'm just taking scissors and removing all of the gluey hair from the inside. Now I'm taking my mini drilling tool and starting removing the doll panties. I think that I really don't like these kind of panties and outfits which are made up of plastic and dolls and I really really don't like it. Now I'm just cutting a small piece of sanding paper and removing any excess and also removing all of the bumps. I'm also sanding out her body so it will become little bit of rough and I will be able to add some little bit of body blushing to her body. Now let's move on to the doll outfit. So for the outfit I just take this piece of paper and I'm just tracing her body to make a perfect match for her t-shirt. Now I'm just folding it and using a scissors I'm just cutting it. And easy peasy the doll outfit pattern is done. Now when I'm satisfied with the pattern, now I just take my old t-shirt and I'm just taking this pattern and cutting it out. Now I take a pin and just pin this pattern into the fabric and using scissors I am just cutting it. Then I am taking needle and black color of thread and starting sewing the shirt. And now when the outfit is fully done, now I just wear this outfit to the doll and I'm just adding this velcro to the doll outfit so it will become nice and fit. So now it's time to work on the doll hair so for this I'm just 
taking some wires and I'm just making a right size and right shape and a right length which I wanted to make the doll hair. Now I'm just twisting it together to make the wire nice and stiff. I also make a loop from the inside so that the wire will not come off. Sometimes I also use scissors to cut these kind of wires and scissors are very helpful in this kind of things. So now I'm just making the other side using that same technique and also making the back part. And now when I'm happy with the result then it's time to add some clay and add some realism and drama to the doll hair. So for this I'm taking Das brand clay and it's usually paper clay which is used for BJD dolls but I really like this kind of clay in my tiny doll projects and it helped me a lot. It is very very useful and it also sand because later on I also send this kind of clay and you can't send air dry clay because air dry clay is not perfect for this kind of small doll projects and I think that this clay is super perfect for this kind of dolls. Now when I'm happy with one of the hair part, so I'm doing the same thing with the other part.
and now I'm also doing the same thing with the back part and just painting it and the doll hair is done. So now I'm just moving on to the doll boots so for this I choose Wonder Woman original boots and I'm just painting it using this brownish yellowish kind of color and I'm just giving it two to three coats and later on I also give it some green stripes to match the Ashoka boots. Now it's time for the fun part, the face, but most of the footage is deleted so I'm really really sorry guys but I'm just taking some acrylic paints and starting filling the doll eyes using acrylic paints. This time I wanted to make the doll eyes look very smaller and much similar to Ashoka eyes. Then I am giving her some brownish color of lip color because I think that Ashoka really wears some brown color of lipstick so I am just adding that in my doll. So now it's time to work on the forehead part and this kind of tattoos kind of things and I really really like this design on her forehead. It look really amazing and she is looking very perfect in this kind of design. So I'm just building two to three coats of acrylic paints to make the colors opaque and vibrant. And whenever I'm happy with the result, I just seal the doll face using Liquitex matte varnish. And now when the acrylic paints part are done, now it's time to add some blushing and add some realism to the doll face using some soft pastels so i'm taking some brown orange and different natural stones for this doll to make her look very realistic and beautiful i think that blushing add the doll face to the next level and i think that blushing is very very important in doll faces Now I'm just adding some eyeshadows using some dark brown and some black colors. I'm also adding some color to her nostrils and some color to her lips. Now I'm adding eyeshadows. I'm mostly using dark brown and black color for the eyeshadows. And now when the face up is done, now the doll is fully complete and I mostly make her accessories off screen and actually I use mostly Wonder Woman original accessory to make this doll and I think that she came out really beautiful. If you like my this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to see more doll repaints and bye.